feel comfortable. I mean, it's it's even more pronounced, I would think, playing in England than when you were playing in Germany. But being seen as the face of American soccer and, and being attached to what the national team does? I really, I know I always say it, but I, I really just don't, I don't, I don't think about it in that way that maybe some some other people might think in in the media or whatever or however people want to, you know, perceive me and, and the way I uh, I am for this team. Um, obviously, I've been around for a while, so I think naturally people want to look for that like leader, that guy or whatever. Um, but I just try to, I just want to help this team win. I just want to. Uh, um, lead in my own way and I hope that, that other guys can see that and, and try to follow. How would you describe your approach to leadership? I, I wouldn't say I'm the most vocal guy uh, in the world. Um, I've, I've always just learned to lead by example, um, trying to be a professional as much as I can and and just uh, hopefully when other guys see me they, they, they want to do, do the same. I think people see that and uh, my teammates hopefully see that. and. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's definitely my style. I'm not the most outgoing type or someone who is going to, you know, shout or give a bunch of advice. You know, you've had to deal with a, a couple of different injuries over the last couple of years. What is that like from a mental perspective for a player who wants to be out there? Yeah, I think sometimes when you come back, you can, you know, you have to understand what you can and can't deal with and you kind of get a feel for your body and what you can push through and what maybe you need to, to hold back a bit. So there's a big learning process, and uh, yeah, injuries are tough, but it's part of the game, unfortunately, and uh, it's just something you learn as you as you go. In your mind, is it bad luck? Is there any pattern between these injuries that you've been able to identify? Uh, I would say um, I don't think there's I don't think there's a massive pattern. I really um, I see myself as as quite a tough kid. I'm not like someone who I hate to go out for for little things. So. Um, if you look at my injuries the past couple of years, it was, uh, you know, three very serious ones. So I, th- I would say that is a bit unlucky. Um, I haven't missed, you know, games at a time where I'm just like little things. I, you know, I try to keep, you know, keep take care of myself as best I can. And uh, that's all I can do. I think there is a bit of luck and, and just continuing to take care of yourself. The Nations League uh, final obviously was a pretty memorable performance. When you think back on that game, what comes to mind? There was a bit of everything in that game for sure. Um, it was uh, up and down, you know, comebacks. There were late goals. There was, you know, penalties. There was fouls, stoppage in play, everything. So that's just something that's yeah come to be expected I guess um, now when we play against Mexico. Can you walk me through what you remember about the play that led to your penalty? I just remember kind of being taken down in the box and um, I mean I felt like I got fouled but there wasn't there was no call and then the whole VAR situation obviously um, took a long time and there was a huge build-up um, until the until the, ben- the penalty kick. How did you approach taking that kick? I mean did you know in your mind, okay, I'm going to go do this, and I know which way I'm going to shoot. I mean, I knew I was going to take the penalty kick uh, once it once it happened, and uh, um, I guess uh, I kind of knew the type of penalty that I wanted to take, but I wasn't too sure which side, so um, I, I actually just like asked Tyler which, which side I should which side I should go, and he told me a side, and um, I knew I could I knew I could finish it and, and just uh, take that out of the equation, just go and just Whatever he says, just go and execute, and that's that's what I did. Why'd you pick him? I wasn't like just tight. He was just there. I don't know. Trust him, I guess. It's not like I do that for every penalty kick. I don't know. There's just in that moment there was so much going on, um, and there was a lot going through everyone's head, and it was quite a crazy match. So it just took that out of it for me. Obviously, there's a lot of excitement about the young players on this team, and the you know the sort of the changing face of the team. But it does seem like also there's a lot of um, fluidity. You know, the the roster is different from window to window. There's guys in different positions. Is that challenging as a player to come in where it could be a different group from one time to the next? It could be a different position from one game to the next? I mean, I think that's what a national team is. Uh, it's, it's pretty standard, obviously. Um, like I said before, you gotta you have to perform and you have to work hard to earn a spot with the national team always. and. Um, a lot of the times 
that means what you're doing at your club because that's all the coaches can really can really judge you on while while you're away. I would say you have to you have to do a good job at your club and then and then coming in. I think there'll always be new players and it's just about quickly adapting. Obviously, you don't have a ton of time to train together, so just about uh, trying to get ready and as quick as as quickly as you can for for the games. Knowing the strengths that this group has, where do you feel most comfortable when you're in with this group? I would say. I mean, any, any in the, anywhere in the attacking uh, in the attacking spaces on this team, I definitely prefer to come from the left side, coming in central and um, in that pocket of space a lot is definitely where I like to be the most. Do you feel as though this group is developing in an identity? That there is sort of a a theme to the way that the group plays and the tactics that you guys choose. I, I don't think um, we're necessarily defined by our our tactics. I think. Um, I think I hope people see see the work that we put in and um, and just what a good group we are and and how you know together we are at times. I think that's I think that's most important and what we pride ourselves on most. For the people that look to you and the fans that look to you and this young group and say this is you know the beginning of a search for U.S. soccer, you know a, a young team going towards 22, hosting the World Cup in 26. Are you able to step back and look at sort of the macro picture as an American who's been in the soccer community, or do you have to keep your focus as narrow as it is? I mean, it's definitely a short-term goal. We want to qualify for this World Cup. That's number one on our minds. Um, we want to continue to to just show the world what, what we're all about and what the American soccer is and, and what we can accomplish. Um, but it's definitely more so um, narrow-minded and just keeping keeping our eyes on, on the goal that's at hand right now. In your opinion, you were just saying what American soccer is. What is American soccer? I mean, I think uh, in previous years it's it's been a team that that no one loves to play against. I think it's that American spirit that we can we can always win. We can beat anyone and uh, hoping that our, you know, that our style and, and, and it just continues to continues to shine and hopefully people are just seeing just the country in general grow as a soccer country and and the way the national team plays and to to you know to compete with the best out there that's that's where we want to be